Hello and welcome back to the Coosters Hidden Years channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you what our family does for preschool. We are currently teaching our fourth and fifth child. They're four and three preschool. So we have six kids all together and my husband and I are both BC certified teachers. I worked in the Catholic schools and public schools here in British Columbia for seven years and my husband, oh, he's almost probably at 15 now. So combined, we have that experience and then the life experience that comes with teaching our six children. We have never until this year actually explored anything other than traditional homeschool. It really made sense for me to stay home with the children because that was my first priority and I just couldn't see going out and teaching other people's children when I had a little classroom here in front of me and it was just something I really longed to do when I became a mother was to be their primary educator and my husband has been very supportive. Some of my other friends, they don't have that same support and it's all on them and that's super difficult. But luckily my husband was very supportive. He was in fact the major researcher of what curriculum we were going to use. I tell other people who think they can't homeschool because they don't have a degree in teaching that that is totally not necessary. You have to have a basic level of education, reading, writing, but then there are so many excellent curriculums out there. You just need to follow a plan. I wouldn't advise you make it up as you go. If you're someone like me, you will end up wasting a lot of time and energy and reinventing the wheel. I think that you are busy enough with caring for the everyday needs of the family. And if you have maybe one or two children and you you know have maybe help around the house maybe then you have the time to be as creative as you want and that's your passion then great but for most of us uh, who this is our full-time job caring for children in the home just go with something tried and true talk to other homeschoolers in your community and get a sense of what they're doing and then don't be afraid to to change things as the needs of your family change. Don't be afraid to ask for help if a particular subject area proves overwhelming to you. I know by the time my eldest got to grade five Latin, I said, I need some help. I leave the Latin at that point, he'd been doing it for four years, was really getting challenging and I didn't have the time to spend to sit down with him and him being my first I really didn't have the experience so we're having him do his Latin with a wonderful professor from Florida every Tuesday morning for an hour and a half and I know he's getting a way better education our children are schooled with Memoria Press and we really love this curriculum. It is American and we're Canadian, so there are some things that we have to adjust with, say, the math, um, we're, you know, Canadian dollars and um, measurement a little bit. Um, but we teach it all. We think it's beneficial for them to just have everything. And Memoria Press has saved me so much time and energy. I really can't wait to um, have all the kids have this education. It's the education that I, my husband and I are lacking and so we're filling in lots of gaps in our own background um, and it's making us just so much stronger as the primary educators of our kids. So Memorial Press is, does, has no idea I'm saying this but if you hear this I really really thank you uh, you've done a great job so let's dive in our religious curriculum we read from the story Bible and this beautiful beautifully illustrated book has very readable uh, stories and it is wonderfully presented 
Uh, each story is only a couple pages and has some discussion questions and a prayer to say together afterwards. Uh, Richard Scarry's Best Mother Goose. You have to have a Mother Goose uh, collection of anthology at some, of some sort. Big Thoughts for Little People by Kenneth Taylor, a wonderful book. It not only teaches the virtues, but it's all done through letter by letter of the alphabet. And there is a scripture verse as well that focuses things. So every week the little ones learn a new letter. We have a wonderful illustration to study. And say this is T is for thankful. Thank God for your lunch and thank him for dinner and breakfast and brunch. And if you look carefully in every picture, there's always lots of things that start with T. So right off the bat, I see trains and tennis rackets and teddy bears and tents, um, a toucan. You know, the kids have a lot of fun looking through and finding things in the pictures. For more formal printing practice, um, we have these two books. My little one is already onto part two of Lay Lo's alphabet book. And so just to show you quickly, you can get a alphabet books anywhere, the dollar store, Costco, but this just coordinates with everything that Memoria Press does. And so the kids are seeing repeated the same pictures and learning the same sounds that match the pictures throughout the flashcards and the number cards and it just beautifully all coordinates and flows right into then kindergarten grade one i really like it this is my four-year-old writing at uh well we've been doing school formally for five months so every day that it's repeated but it's very doable just a couple pages a, a couple times a week and numbers and colors same thing i think this is her second um, math book but you can see i just love how simple the book is laid out it's um it's so manageable and everything is enlarged and guided and it's just wonderfully scaffolded uh, i'll get to this that i made later um, eric carl's animals animals is the poetry focus i love eric carl don't you he's just I love his, the collages, the art, uh, his choice of poems, and I love this poem. Hailstones and Halibut Bones by Mary O'Neill, a wonderful book on colors and poetry. And she goes through each color and she likens each color to different feelings and um, objects. And it's just packed with wonderful illustrations. Memoria Press is so good for choosing quality children's pieces that are just timeless. And something that Memoria Press does is a recitation or every week. So the children are expected once a week to just remember, you know, a fact or two, some truth that they can build on throughout their education. And um, so what I did is it's all a, meant to be a dictation. But what I've done is I've written out in this little dollar store book, week by week, the main focus is. So if I have nothing else when I sit down with my preschoolers, I take this book, I open it, here's week one, here's week three, you know, here's week four, and I know, okay, quickly, I'm a busy mom, I know this week we need to do lots of D practice, I know I wanna focus on the following main words, I know that I need to practice with them over and over. What are the two sizes of letters? Uppercase, lowercase, by the way. How many senses do we have? Five. And then we talk about those. And every week she learns uh, a little nursery rhyme as well out of the best mother goose. And a prayer, too. So that's the Memoria Press curriculum. And as I say, if you just are active with your children and they have a little music practice, they're getting out into nature, you're going to church as a family and trying to live liturgically, you're going to have a rich education. But then some things that I've found helpful, I've helped build the children's 
um, a strength in their fingers with kinetic sand and play-doh it's so creative and they're really needing to exercise their hands and it's just good for um, them to keep busy too right when you're with your older kids I would strongly recommend little stubby uh, pens and pencils at the beginning stages it's so important just to get the proper grip for the little ones so I really practice that a lot and um, I you know I file those pencils right down short so that they're working with really stubby great if you can get a tripod pencil or a pencil that has three flat wood sides um, I really just buy quality pencils the dollar store ones are not worth the money these are the flashcards. some extra things we do uh, I love veggie tales don't you all um, veggie tales classics some other things that have found their way into our collection are the cat chat series which you can look at through formed if you have a subscription or your church has a subscription to formed check it out it's like Catholic Netflix the glory stories this family the Holy Heroes family is doing great work check them out too we do a lot of little coloring books sticker books um, spot it junior and there is Catholic spot it too which Holy Heroes puts out these are just dollar store things matching number or letters to the pictures uh, you need some sort of matching game I think the lacing is really great for building up those fine motor skills doing anything with beading big beads though for them I also love Charlotte Diamond she's a Canadian singer um, she's somebody I grew up listening to her songs are so wonderful like I am a pizza and Dicky Dicky Dinosaur and then our children do the NYC music for young children program so we have their beginner CD I have uh, Melissa and Doug alphabet train which they all learn by three to do the alphabet with this train it's very used a neighbor friend gave us Shelby's snack shack game which has been helpful for counting my three-year-old received let's go fishing for his birthday they love playing guess who and then the geo boards with elastic bands need to be supervised but they're super great in teaching kids you know making different shapes they need to know their triangle their square their rectangle and whatnot and then this mat was a Christmas gift from um, beautiful auntie and all you need is water and the kids can paint on there so this is our preschool curriculum thank you very much for watching what our family does for preschool and check back with me next week as I'm going to share what our first and second graders are doing what their curriculum looks like how we plan things for them and I really thank you for your support for the comments that I've and feedback I've been getting from around the world and I am thinking of all of you when I make these videos and please pray for us too thank you goodbye <laughs> why is there sandwich in front of the lambs and I was feeding them too. You were feeding them too. You were feeding the lambs. Yeah. The kids think this is hilarious. And he needed water. And you were giving him water too? Yeah. Okay, so instead of yelling at him, I had to just chuckle and film it because kids and their ideas are not like our ideas. He wasn't trying to be disrespectful. Yes, ma'am.